That's coming up, but first, the future of aviation landed today at LAX, and we got an exclusive ride on the plane during a flight to the Bay Area, and why some say the best part of the jet is the bathroom. Why not, man? A Qantas A380 Super Jumbo Jetliner arrives in Los Angeles on its inaugural flight from Melbourne, Australia. It's ushering in a new era in air travel. Someone who got a chance to experience a flight on the A380, none other than Chuck Henry. Chuck, how was it? It was a lot of fun. That's <laughs> a bet. big, big plane. The A380 is big and it's green, and I was invited to go along on a two hour flight today. It's the world's largest kangaroo flying on the world's largest commercial airplane, the A380. When you're in the plane, it's sort of like being inside the belly of a giant whale. You see, the plane right now has about 250 people on it, but it actually seats 450. That's a big plane. You know, you've heard that planes are often referred to as birds. Well, this one actually has a lot in common with birds because it flexes its giant wings more than 13 feet up and down on takeoff and landing. It's a very green airplane. It's historical in every way because, you know, you can't compete anymore with speed, and you can't, you, but you can compete with comfort, and you can compete with the green idea. Yeah. John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John took guests up for two hours of flight sing over San Francisco and a low flyby over the Golden Gate Bridge. Imagine what people on the ground must have thought. Noise-wise, it's the quietest plane in the sky. Luxury, you know, you see for yourself how fabulous it is. Well, I like the the bathroom is beautiful. The way the taps, the automatic taps, that I couldn't figure out the first time I went in there. Of course, a flight like this also shows you exactly what you're missing if you're not flying first class. Like a vibrating seat, you can't tell it, but it is vibrating. You have your own little compartment, a private TV. It's very private in here and very nice and very expensive. The plane has also solved one of the most perplexing problems for coach passengers. That is, you can never see where you're going. Well, here, they have a camera that's mounted way up on that tail, and it shows you what's straight ahead. And if you also notice, a nice big screen, 16 by 9. Tonight at 11 o'clock, the very first paying passengers will spend some 14 hours on this very plane. On the first, the inaugural A380 flight out of Los Angeles.